Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about memory transfer in computer organization course, computer architecture course and computer organization and architecture course. It is one of the important and basic concept in these courses. We already know that Memory can be organized in the form of cells. Each cell can be called as one word. The particular word of a memory can be denoted by capital M. Each word has a particular address. That address is hold by a register can be called as address register. The address register contains the address of a particular memory word. Suppose I am taking this memory word. This memory word address is 2000. That address is stored in the address register. Now the address register contains the 2000. This can be represented in the symbolic form as M of A R. Okay. So, A R is nothing but address register. Address register contains the address. Okay. So, that is nothing but M of 2000. That means the content of memory address 2000 value is 10 okay so that means the the data or our information value is 10 the 10 is stored in the 2000 address of a particular memory word in the memory okay this data can be hold by a register called as data register okay so now data register contains the value 10 whereas address register contains the address of 10 that is 2000 okay this 2000 can be stored in their register called as address register this 10 can be hold by a register called as data register okay so this is the particular memory word that memory word contains the address 2000 that address is hold by a register called as address register now the address register contains the address 2000 within that address whatever the data value that is present that can be hold by a register called as data register the data register contains the value 10 okay now there are two operations can be performed on the memory unit first one is read operation and the second one is write operation so what is read operation and what is write operation read operation is nothing but the transfer of information that is stored in a particular memory word into the outside environment called as read operation. Okay, simply we can say that the transfer of information or data of a particular memory word to the outside environment can be called as read operation okay so here the outside environment is nothing but another register that another register can be called as data register okay so we have to transfer the data of a particular memory word to the another register that is called as outside environment okay the data present in the particular memory address 
can be denoted by m of a r that can be transferred to the another register called as data register so the data register is nothing but outside environment memory word is nothing but m of a r so this statement causes a transfer of information of a particular memory word to the outside environment is called as read operation okay so here what is the meaning of this statement so m of a r suppose we have to transfer the information over our data value 10 is to the another register called as data register okay so this value can be transferred to the data register of a particular memory word okay now we have to transfer the data value 10 so this 10 is present in the address of a particular memory word that is 2000 how it can be represented so address of a particular memory word that address is specified by the address register that address is present in the memory that is nothing but m of a r so what is this value this value is 10 so 10 how we are getting 10 this nothing but m of address register value is 2000 m of 2000 okay so m of 2000 value is nothing but 10 the data present within the address of a particular memory word that is 10 this 10 can be transferred to this 10 can be transferred to data register this can be transferred to data register this can be transferred to data register okay that means the value 10 present in the address 2000 that can be transferred to the outside environment that is called as data register this is the meaning of this entire statement okay next second one is write operation what is write operation the transfer of a new information the transfer of new information stored into the memory word specified by the address register okay so how it can be represented in symbolic form okay so here new information is stored into a register called as data register okay some new information is there that new information is stored into the register called as data register that new information can be transferred into the particular word that is specified by the address register so that can be represented as m of a r okay so the transfer of new information from the data register into the memory word that is specified by the address that is present in the address register okay now the data value suppose the data register contains the value 20 so the data register contains the value 20 okay this 20 can be stored into the stored into the memory of a particular word that is specified by the address register so this 20 is stored in the 5000 address okay so this can be written as m of 5000 so 5000 is the address that is specified by the address register okay the 20 is stored into the 
address of 5020 is specified by the address register in the memory. Okay. So, this is the meaning of this. Meaning of this statement. 20 is stored in the 5000 address of a particular memory word address in the memory. So, this is called as the write operation. This is called as the read operation. Okay. The data register contains the new information. So, that is 20. This 20 is stored into the memory of a particular word. The word address is 5000. So, M of 5000. 20 is stored in the 5000 address of a particular memory. Memory word in the memory. So, that is called as write operation. So, this is the simple description of read and write operations that can be performed on the memory unit. Okay. Simply, we can say that the address register always stores the address of a particular memory word. The data register always contains the data value that is present at a particular memory address. Okay. So, read operation is nothing but we want to transfer the data of a particular memory address to a another register called as data register. The data register is nothing but outside environment. Okay. We want to transfer a transfer the information or our data that is present in a particular memory word to the outside environment can be called as read operation. Write operation is nothing but we have some data that is the new data that is stored into the particular address that is specified by the address register in the memory that can be called as a write operation. So, the data register contains the new information that is stored in the particular memory word that is specified by the address register in the memory. Okay. I hope all of you understanding this video. If you really understanding this video, please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. If you really like this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. So, the Vela Srinivasara. After subscribing my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. After subscribing my YouTube channel, if you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. If you really want to understand the entire computer organization course, go to this channel and go to the playlist called Computer Organization. It contains approximately more than 100 videos. So, please watch these videos and understand the entire computer organization and architecture course. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.